Hello YouTube. Today we're back with the old 2012 CRF 250R. <clears throat> um, I did decide on a direction with this thing. We're going to just keep it a four stroke. Uh, just quite honestly, I don't want to build a $15,000 bike and by the time I convert the frame and actually find and purchase a CR250 engine, I'll have way more in this bike than it would ever be worth. So, <clears throat> that being said, I did score uh, some parts. Um, as I had mentioned before, that this bike has uh, Olin's uh, wood suspension on it. So, I needed to uh, put factory or original Showa equipment back on it. I did find a shock on eBay for 2012 and this thing is low hours i'm getting ready to open it make sure it's as good as the picture said it was so stick with me here <clears throat> all right four peanuts certainly packed it real well. Um, this comes from a uh, place in uh, California called, uh, I believe it's called SoCal MX Recyclers. It, uh, it came off eBay, so um, I don't really know what a fair price would be on this shock. I know what I paid for it. It's $375. Once we get the plastic off, we're going to see if it's as lightly used as uh, <clears throat> advertised. Sorry, give me a second to get this plastic off of here. Yeah, <laughs> so take a look at that, guys. That thing, that's not been cleaned. It's not been dirty. You can tell the difference. Uh, no scrub marks, scotch bright, prime wheel, none of that. Look at this thing. Wow. I guarantee I couldn't have bought a brand new shock from Honda for 370 bucks. So <clears throat> look at the rings. So that's uh, that's a pretty good uh, score right there. So um, yeah, so that'd be a nice piece for my suspension guy to start with, to set it up for me. But there's a shock. Something else I uh, had mentioned in previous videos, uh, <clears throat> the back wheel on this bike was just completely shot. The um, nipple holes, spoke holes, whatever you want to call them, and the rims are all wallered out where it was just being ridden with loose spokes until it ruined the rim. Um, I went on MX, you guys can see over there, I went on, uh, it's called MX Locker. Uh, if you guys don't remember that, you probably should be because you can find all kinds of good deals on used stuff. Kind of keeping my eyes on a set of show of forks um, on there. They're uh, 04s to 07 were those uh, twin chamber, uh, best years of the twin chamber show of fork. So that's what I'm looking to buy for it. Um, there wasn't anything special about a 2012 fork anyway. So <clears throat> um, anyway, let me open these wheels up and we'll take a look. I only wanted the back one, but this came as a pair. I got a good deal on them, so let's just see what we got here. I think these 
these guys use the same rule of shrink wrap on both of them. Okay, so a 110, 90, 19. So that would be off of a, either a 254 stroke or a 125 two stroke. Be the 185 wheel. Uh, bearings got a little bit of a catch to it there. Probably definitely gonna wanna put some new bearings in there. It has a 52 tooth rental. The teeth are in really good shape. They're not, but there's, I don't know what it was rubbing on to wear the anodizing off of it, but I gotta tell you guys, these uh, sp spokes are snug. This wheel is actually in really good shape. So I paid $175, um, $175 for the pair. And uh, I couldn't have uh, replaced the rim and the spokes and all that. And the sprocket, of course, on the other wheel was destroyed. So this, I, I couldn't have done this just repairing that. This is This was definitely a good deal for me and I've got a, uh, Spare front wheel, I guess. Even though there's nothing wrong with the one that's on the bike, but. So yeah, there you go. Um, those are some new pieces that I've got. Um, we've got a few other small things coming. Like I said, I haven't ordered or purchased any forks yet because I'm still trying to find the right deal. Um, I found a set. Like I said, uh, 04 forks that are immaculate, like that shock, uh, but will cost me $500 to get them to my door. So I'm um, kind of waiting. I probably won't find a better deal. I'm probably gonna end up just going ahead and getting them. But <clears throat> um, the plan is I'm gonna just get this bike uh, mechanically sound and fit to hit the track with for the time being. Um, at some point, at some future date, we're gonna take the engine off and, and uh, completely rebuild it and uh, fix some other things or replace some other things, just make it nice. Uh, but for the time being, I'm just gonna get it, get it where it's fit to do some business. Um, The next video that I uh, put up on this, I'll be uh, taking the uh, um, seat, subframe, back wheel, that swing arm off. I've got to take it and uh, have that crack uh, welded on the uh, chain guide bracket. Uh, I'm gonna scrub it up real good. I'm gonna inspect the bushings, bearings, 
<clears throat> anything that needs replaced, I'll order it. If I can just clean them, if they're in good enough shape, I can clean them and uh, re-grease them, I'll do that. Um, and then uh, definitely can't use the, four, oh, the, the original 450 chain with that 52 excuse me, 52 tooth sprocket. I'm probably just gonna have to order 120 pin chain and, and cut it to length. So, I've uh, got the radiator guards just still coming. Um, anyway, a lot of good scrubbing and I'm gonna start in the back and get all that stuff corrected, replaced uh, uh, in operating shape. And then once I acquire some forks, we'll take the front end down and do the same thing with it. <clears throat> and uh, this brake line, it's kind of hard to see, but the, the casing is split and falling off of it. And it's flopping around in that. Um, I guess I forgot to tighten that up, didn't I? Um, this uh, ring that keeps the brake line in place which should be on the outside of the plate, but that ring's missing. I need to replace that. Um, all that stuff's coming back off anyway. I ordered the uh, missing guards, guards that are missing, one on the rear caliper. Um, while I've got it apart, I'll probably uh, have my buddy Sean go ahead and Cerakote that um, <clears throat> rear brake caliper and replace the brake line, replace the pads, just freshen it up back there, uh, get that end of it done, and I'll move on to the next end. So once I have everything on hand here that I need to do this work, and I've had that swing arm welded, uh, wel uh, welded and repaired, um, then uh, the next video will be me putting all that stuff back together. So um, that's all I got for today, guys. Um, we are just going to keep moving forward with this and also um, when I'm done this Owen suspension to all your friends because that shock and these forks I'm going to give those away free as soon as I hit 100 subscribers so um, I'm not sure if they'll fit I know the 09 450 I think is pretty much the same as the 10 to 13, 250 is dimensionally for the suspension and stuff. I don't know. You guys research it if it'll fit something you want to put it on. And if you want to go ripping through the woods, that's the stuff you need right there. It works great for that. You just can't be jumping big jumps with it because it's too soft. So I'm going to give that stuff away. And uh, as soon as I hit 100, 100 subscribers, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself, 100 subscribers. And once I hit that point, then uh, anybody that wants to register to win that stuff free, drop your name in the comments. Um, got a little ways to go, but if somebody wants some free uh, old suspension, tell your friends about this channel. Appreciate the support. Consider uh, subscribing. Um, that way you get notified as soon as, uh, as soon as we put out new videos on this, the 450, uh, the four wheelers, uh, the Sportster drag bike. Uh, us at the races, riding the trails, anything and everything. Um, also into some camping and stuff like that. So that probably coincides with the four wheelers and off roading and all that. But anyway, thanks again and have a nice evening.